but it must still be in everyone's mind when they consider the aerospace industry. Anyway, this year we can confidently forecast a new record in aviation exports. First, there are complete aircraft like the BC-10. And the first airliner to be designed from the start for automatic landings, the Triton. Down the scale in size, but sky high in overseas sales, light aircraft of the Beagle range. But our biggest success story centers around our sales of aircraft engines. The revolutionary new Rolls-Royce engine selected to power the American Lockheed Airbus. And a flying test bed for the Olympus turbojet, the gigantic Vulcan. The Harrier, the world's first operational vertical takeoff fighter. Floods postponed most of the flying display, but we had a preview above the weather. Overseas aircraft featuring British engineering include the Swedish Draken supersonic fighter with its Rolls-Royce Avon turbojet. A Japanese airliner with dark turboprops. The Dutch Fokker Fellowship with Spey turbofan. Finally, some of our own top liners in the sales charts, the short sky band. And they can't build enough of these to meet the demand, Britain Norman's mini airliner, the Islander. Finally, the fantastically successful handy paid jet stream. success in the air was far from being reflected down below. 